In the next episode of What I Bought, I am going all in with the Govi light plan for the LED outdoor permanent light show setup. So this time we're going to go through the Govi soft light uh, waterproof RGBC uh, up lights. It is pronounced uh, Go V or Gov E. Uh, leave a comment as to how you think it's pronounced. In the box, we get we get our very famous user manual for the Govi RGBIC floodlight. Uh, this time we do have another card, and I'm already going to say that it opens up, and yes, it does. So we got a little Joy and Govee Home, little 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 advertising piece for Govee um, uplights, which I find uh, very nice. Full disclosure, I already have a pack of these set up up front, and we'll go through that in a little bit. It comes with four lights in the box, nicely, neatly tucked in there and packed. I do really like the uh, waterproof uh, connectors. This stuff on the inside. And that's all we need. With the four ground lights, that's how I'm using them. It does come with four stakes, which is uh, very handy to have. These are plastic. They feel nice, they're robust, they do the job. Push those to the side, move the lights slightly over. Uh, we'll go through this piece. So the spacing between lights is, if I recall, about six to eight feet. Um, so you get a power supply, the brains of the system, length of cord, and then you have these T connectors. Uh, what's interesting about the T connectors, you know, I mean, obviously now you have a fixed uh, dimension, and then the end is just a, a single tail at the end. Um, Careful thing to note that these are not waterproof. Uh, so when using these outside, we're gonna get into this in, in just a second. Connecting them is quite easy. Uh, we just thread them into the holes. Okay, I have all four connected. Now we need the instructions. I'm going to the user manual. User manual. Search for H7060. So we'll do that now on the iPhone. Okay, with a little zoom in here, I got the Govi app. The four lights, I should plug them in. So I got my handy plug here. And I'm going to plug it in. <clears throat> There we go. Things are happening. Okay. We're going to add a device. We are going to search for what it told us to search, which was H7060. The GoV RGB floodlights. Click. Oh, maybe I should push something. <laughs> Connecting. The device is pairing. Short press the on off button. There's an on off button in here in this controller. Short pressed. We are done. We like renaming things early in the process here, so I'm going to name these left. Hunt left, flood. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now I got, uh, I'm on my Wi-Fi and it's logged in and I'm saying done. I'm in. Version update. A new version is available. Update now. Uh, upgrade now. There we go. We got a nice little restart. 
Update successful. Perfect. Spinning wheel. Brightness dim it. Oh, it's a graceful dim. It's not an insta dim. That's pretty nice. Effects lab. And then I know we can do individual uh, colors as well. So we can pick the lights we want and um, toggle the colors just for that. So this is a, a really straightforward way of, of, of looking at things. I do see these as getting up pretty bright. Um, the trick is always to move it over to warm white um, to the highest setting you can and uh, make sure you have your brightness uh, scaled all the way up. I do plan on using these as architecture lights, sort of like up lights up against the house as an accent light. Uh, really super easy setup. As I mentioned, I already have a couple single bulbs and uh, garage floodlights, and now this is gonna go on the left side of the house. Um, oh, the most important part. Um, Govi says that these are not waterproof. And if you can look at this at all, um, clearly this is a, a simple power supply and a brains of the system stuffs in here. Um, um, so what do we do about that? For the first set I installed, I bought a four by four uh, outdoor weatherproof box. So it has a gasket and a, a sealed lid. I had to cut it. I cut a notch so that I can pass the cables through and then I used hot glue to glue it all together. It's been sitting out in the snow. I haven't inspected it to see if any moisture got in there or water got in there yet. Uh, we'll take a look at that. In the meantime, I did some little homework. I'll add the link below, and here's what I got that I think is a better option. Now this is probably a little gigantic, but what this is, outdoor extension cord cover. Um, so it's, it's quite large. I didn't know exactly what size I need to get to keep everything intact is make sure you get a box that is plastic. We want the Wi-Fi electricities to escape the box and get into the box. And if the box is metal, uh, you're going to have some difficulties with that. It looks like there's rubber grommets here off on the side where, where the cables will nest and um, not have uh, water intrusion in here if I keep this definitely in the upright position. So my plan is um, to, the Home Depot setup I got with the two four x four boxes, uh, I had to do a box for the power supply and a box for the Wi-Fi. What was nice about that is it gave me this, this length to run things down. Uh, in this particular case, I'll end up just putting both into one box. I like that and it kind of holds the wires in place. And then these rubber grommets are just gonna smushy smush. Um, this is what I'm gonna use outside. I bought black, it does come in different colors. And I'll add that link. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. I got the coveralls. I'm gonna keep the lid upside down, keep the snow in there. Dump all these out. I already have an extension cord over here. So I'm gonna use that for this project. Put the lid on. Hide it behind a flower pot. I really feel like that will be better than the thing I made with the four by four light boxes. One there. Let's give it a try. I got the Govi app running. I don't know if you can see it. Turn them on. And they're doing their thing. So that was the last mode that they were on with some blinky thing. And we're going to preview my 5 o'clock uh, setup. as purple. Purple up against the house. And, uh, and we're just going to turn everything off. Let me show you this over here. This is the side I've had set up before. Um, and it's, uh, 
they get covered up in snow pretty easily. So if I had a stick behind it when it's buried, I'd be able to find it and then just uh, brush it off easily with uh, a broom. And that's, that's sort of my plan for that. Okay, uh, the next photo will be at night. So here we are at the front of the house with the, uh, <clears throat> the added lights on the left hand side and the existing uh, panel lights that I have on the right hand side. So I can toggle them all on and off with the, uh, the phone which is kind of nice. Uh, but they are running currently through the automation and that all really works. So the quest for the full LED um, all the time architectural lights is, is in full play. Thanks everybody. See you on the next video.